Hello guys and welcome to episode number 9. Now this episode is episode number 9 because on the last episode I said that was episode number 9. No, this is definitely episode number 9. I've counted them now. Um, Guys, as you can see as well, it is also Friday and Friday means one thing. It is giveaway day and the giveaway is a little Tiger Woods Funko Pop. Now if you if you know about Funko Pops, they're a bit of a collectible items and there's only I think there's only two golfers actually in the Funko Pop range, uh, which is uh, Tiger Woods and Jack Nicholson. So and I've, I've got it here guys as well. So it's in the box. Uh, it's all brand new. Uh, I've actually got quite a few of these because when I had a golf brand, I bought about 10 of them at, at once. So um, I'm down now to my last three. So little Funko Pop there for you. It's going to be a question at the end of this episode and uh, and yeah, it's going to be a good, uh, it's going to be a good episode. Make sure you watch it so you know what the question is, uh, you know what the answer is to the question at the end. And also, if you don't mind, guys, it'd be much appreciated if you hit that little subscribe button down there, um, and maybe like the video if you do like it. Right, guys, let's get straight into the save. Now, as you can see, guys, we the league is now split. Uh, so what happens is after 26 games in the Cypriot league in the Cita Championship, it splits up into the top six going into a, a championship title and then the bottom eight going into a relegation battle luckily we finished second um and i don't know if you watched the twitch uh the twitch uh episode yesterday uh guy, the the link is below on the twitch as well uh that we we did well we did okay but the last two games of the episode yesterday on twitch we got beat now let's go let's go to the schedule and where we're at, at the minute so we've come to the the split now uh so that's where the split is and as you can see guys we <sighs> I don't. I can't even explain how how well we've been playing, and then now we've come up with two defeats. So now we're playing Applewell, and we're also going to play Aek Lenarcos as well on this episode. So the Applewell one. This is probably the sixth time we've played Applewell because we did play him in the Coca Cola Cup as well, and also we play Lenarcos, who are currently top of the table as well. So yeah, it's a it's a cool season you know i'm very happy with it as you can see guys we are top of the we are second in the table at the minute we're we're, at, we're three points behind lenarcos uh and we're only one point in front of lemasol so it's a very tight them top three are very tight and then we're going to 52 points 51 51 so listen end of the day it means that we're still going to be playing the city championship next year uh, next season sorry but let's see if we can get that Champions League qualifying spot, which is that first position. If we can't, then let's hope we can get a European spot in the second, third or fourth position. And guys, we've actually got a new player in. So on the last episode, on the Twitch episode yesterday, the transfer deadline was happening. And we actually did the transfer deadline as well. And we managed to get a player called Franco Tonya. Franco Tonya is a 18-year-old Italian uh, he, he's come from Juventus, uh, so he is on loan from Juventus. We've got him till the end of the season, and as you can see, his attributes are really good, really broad as well, and he's actually increased since he's been here, to be fair. Um, so he's dribbling 14, first touch 13, uh, his technique is 14, he's a very good player, he's five star potential, which is always good, but his physicals are very, very good, his physicals are very good for an 18 year old. So, and, and of course, as you can see as well, he's very versatile across that middle of the park. So, Captain Arajori was um, was wanting us to get someone to strengthen up that midfield. And I think, I thought that this was a person to strengthen up that midfield. You know, you've got the likes of Punchin, Navarone 4, uh, Oris Kusik, uh, you've got um, Oli Olivera Cara. Um, and I thought this guy was going to be kind of that next step, but he still wasn't happy on his which was a bit disappointed with. So anyway, guys, welcome to Pafos, uh, Franco Tanya. So yeah, guys, let's get straight to the first game against App Owell. So guys, this is the team that we are going into the next game against with App Owell. And I've gone with kind of a, a 4-1-3-2 formation. Well, it is a 4-1-3-2 formation, uh, even though it does say it's a 4-4-1-1 formation, which is, a, that's just my tactics that have not changed there. But as you can see, guys, uh, I'm going with Hepburn Murphy and Berigo up front. Now, I, I've just realised as well that I've been saying Berigay's name kind of wrong. It's actually Berigo. They pronounce it Berigo, which is fine, which is fine. You know, there is a D in there, English. I'm thinking Berigade, but it is what it is. So, yeah, it's Berigo. So, yeah, Kevin Berigo with Hepburn Murphy up top. We're going Kusik on the left. Again, I'm gutted that we are losing Kusik in June, which I'm pretty gutted with. But, listen, it is what it is. Zay Carlos on the right. Perfect position for them. Both wingers. Kusik is an inverted winger because he's right-footed. Um, well, he's actually both-footed, really. And then we're going with Tonya. Tonya is... Uh, coming out for Oni Velikare. Velikare has been playing well, to be fair, but we're going to uh, go with Oni Velikare. Uh, punching is a DLP just behind to basically spread them balls about, just to try and find them cutting, clear-cutting passes. 
Valerinos, Saez, Arajori and Aurelio in the, at the back. And of course, Rudko in goal. Uh, we've got Petru as a sub goal there. Hutchinson, Navar Navarone 4. Dennis Rakels. Uh, and then we've got Velikari and Jack Vale. So guys, let's get straight into this game against Apoel. Uh, Lenarcost are playing Lemassol at home. So... It's going to be difficult for us to try and push on uh, Lenarcos here, but let's see if Lemisol can do us a bit of a favour. Let's see if we can get a win again, because obviously we've not won in the last two games, which is a bit disappointing. Um, so we really need to kind of push on here um, and try and get this, uh, try and get a W back on the board, because we have had a bit of a bit of a bad start, bit of a bad start to the street, bit of a bad bad end to the stream yesterday. Um, as leading scorers in the City Championship, are you looking forward to another positive? Yeah, without a doubt. I want my team to play on the front foot all the time. Applewell's recent good form see them third in the City Championship. Now, we was third at, before the two uh, before the two defeats, which I was a bit gutted with. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I, think I look forward. I look forward to how we go. Here we go, guys. Paphos versus Applewell at the Stadios Caracadas. And here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this stuff, Paphos. Okay, how's your Tanya picks it up. Tanya. Tanya running all the way there. He plays it inside. He goes for like a uh, a very hard angle shot there, really. And Lenarcos have gone one nil up already, guys. And it's Friday. On Friday, Friday scores for Lenarcos to push them even further at the top of the table. The hard it's it in and it and it's away. Berigo picks it up. Berigo. It's now three on three. Can we get across here? Berigo. Can he play it inside? Berigo. Berigo. It's penalty? No. Oh, I thought that was going to be given a penalty then. It looks like it's going to be a high line now for Apoel. Apoel inside. It's got, And it's a great save from Rudko. Absolute fantastic save there from Rudko. Ah, for Rudko. Fantastic. Lemisol have now scored. It's Ryan Mee. Has now scored for Lemisol, so it's now one all there at Lenarcos. After this corner, Villarenos whips it in. And it's a goal! Get in there! The Carlos guys with a goal! It is his fourth goal of the season. Villarenos with the assist. Get in there! 1 0 Paphos. Whoa, what an header that was, guys. At the front post, their defender just goes over their defender, misjudges it, and Zay Carlos with the header scores it for Paphos. Get in there. Let's see if Lemassol now can do us a favour, and we would then go level points then with Le Lenarcos. Okay, let's uh, just absolutely give him a bit of praise. We are 1 0 up. We'll still stay positive. Everything's looking pretty rosy in the garden at the minute. 11 shots, 6 on target. XG's not looking the best, to be honest, because we've not had that many clear cut chances. But we have had, uh, obviously, six off target as well. Passing completion is 78%, which I'm pretty happy with. And that is our time, guys. Look at the XG. The XG is more or less all over. Oh, it's all over the place, really. But Apple, well, I've had most of the XG. Um, but, yeah, we, we've played well. They've had most of the possession. But we have took our chance and we've took it well. Zay Carlos over. Uh, a nice front post header there on that corner to make it 1-0 Paphos. Okay, I am pleased. Let's keep it going, guys. Let's keep it going. I'm impressed with a solid defending. I'm very impressed how we controlled the midfield. And I'm impressed with the efforts up top. So, let's see in the first Let's see the first 10 minutes how we go in the second half. Here's Velarenos. Velarenos to Kusik. Or is Kusik. Does like getting past that man on that right, on that left side. It comes inside to Berigo. Berigo to Kusik. It comes inside to Tonya. Oh, it's a nearly shot there. Zay Carlos picks it up, though. Zay Carlos picks it up to Aurelio. Aurelio to... And he's in! It's Tonya for his first goal for Paphos. Franco, Tonya, get in there. Get in there. What a signing, guys. I am very happy with that signing. If you didn't see me sign him yesterday on Twitch, you can watch the episode. Like I said, the link is below. Um... And it was a bit of a bit of a last minute signing, really. It was a deadline day signing, but we we looked at him. We we had a look, we asked the uh, director as well, and get in there. What a signing, guys! What a signing. He is costing us around eighty percent of the wages at the minute as well. I think he's around about two k, two k a week. So it, it's it's quite a lot really for Paphos. Hepburn Murphy here. Hepburn Murphy with a shot. Hepburn Murphy with an amazing goal. Hepburn Murphy, guys, get in there. He has not scored for a while, but that is his seventh goal of the season, I believe. Hepburn Murphy, guys. Camilio sides into Tonga Tonga. Hepburn Murphy tries to find Zay Carlos, gets it back off the defender, and that is a lovely goal by Harish and Hepburn Murphy. Get in there. 3-0 Paphos. Wow, I did not expect this. I really didn't. Wowzers. Okay. 
I did not expect this. Especially with the formation that we're playing as well. We're playing a very attacking formation against Apoella. Wow, okay. Here's Edburn Murphy again. Edburn Murphy, can he finish? Edburn Murphy, it comes back out. Second chance? No, it's a corner. Wowzers, this is... I'm, I am... I'm pretty shocked, actually, to be fair. Uh, a little praise going out, guys. And not, nothing wrong with a praise when we're freeing it up. Velarenos here. Velarenos is actually on the yellow card, so we potentially could bring him off, actually. Uh, let's uh, Vizio on. So, yeah, we've made that substitution there. We're also going to bring Punching off as well and bring on... Uh, Never own A4. Oh, Apoel there. Apoel. La demo. La demo. La demo. Actually, in the in the um. La demo in the Twitch in the Twitch uh, series yesterday uh, episode yesterday. Tonga there with a shot. What a save that was by Miguel. What a save. No, it's actually the penalty shootout one against Apoel where La demo scored in that in that in the open play. Guys, Lemasol. Lemasol a free one up. We are top of the league at the minute. That is unbelievable. So we're going to be playing two games on this episode, uh, and then we're going to be doing, oof, and then we're going to be doing the, the the end of the season live on Twitch. So it could fail or it could happen really well. Okay, let's uh, let's have a quick look here. So um, I was not playing the best to be honest. What we might do, we might bring on uh, Dennis Rakels. Might bring on Dennis Rakels, and we're going to swap Rakels with. Uh, Kusik and put Zay Carlos for Rakels. Uh, sorry, the way about, the way about. We're gonna do it like this. We're gonna keep it like this for now. Absolutely fantastic, guys. We are absolutely we're three nil up against Applewell. Of course, we're at home. We are level points. We, we're we're winning on goal. We're top of the league on goal difference at the minute against Lenarcos. It is all going nice and rosy at the minute now, especially after the two defeats that we just had. Uh, it's looking good. It is looking good. We've made all our substitutions. Everyone's absolutely fantastic. Absolutely, another praise is going out. Can't do anything else but a praise. Let's go to balance. Let's just shut up, shut up shop. Really, most of the most of the ball is happening in that midfield. Um, oh, we're playing absolutely fantastic. That long throw again going to nobody again. That's something that I really do need to look at. Here's Axel, Arajori. Beautiful defending there, Ajoy. Just calm as you like, calm as you like. Oh, it's Kusik. Kusik to four. Can we get a fourth? Can we be really cheeky and get a fourth? Or are they going to hit? Are they going to get a consolation goal there? Here's McGlaw. McGlaw hits it into that cell at the back. That's poor defending, really, actually. That is poor defending. I think it was Velarenos. No, it wasn't Velarenos, actually. I believe it was uh, Visalu. But, guys, that is a. Getting there, that is a victory against Applewell. Guys, as you can see, 26 shots, 13 on target, XG of 2 point, XG is fantastic. That is an absolute umdinger of a game. What we say in the UK, if you're listening, if you're watching in Cyprus, that is an umdinger of a game. Uh, absolutely fantastic, guys. You cannot argue with that result. Um, guys, let's get to the next game now, and let's see if we get another W on this episode and try and push on that first position. Then go into the Twitch save on Tuesday, and let's see if we can win this title in the first first season. Guys, wow. So, guys, this is the team we are going into the Lenarcos game with. And not that many changes, to be fair. In fact, there's no personnel change. The only change that we've done is brought Ton Tonye in, in that midfield more with Jason Punch. And just because we are playing the Lenarcos, it is first against second. I'm, I'm, I've got butterflies. I've got butterflies in this one because we've come away from two defeats with a good win there against Apoel, and now we're going into this Lenarcos game with only them five games remaining from this. So yeah, I'm, we could go. I think it's we could go three points clear. Here. Oh, sorry, Jack Vale is on international duty, so we, Jack Vale cannot be involved. Uh, Var can be involved, I believe. Yeah, we'll put we'll put Var in there. Okay, guys, a few concerns, but we're, we're happy with this. We're happy with. It. Listen, God, I'm so so excited about this game. I think we are going with it, but the only thing that the only two tactical changes that I've done from the last one as well is I've put a bit of a lower line of engagement in uh, in in regards to the defense and also gone from positive to balance. So just want to start balance and let's see how we how we start off early and see if we need to make any improvements throughout the game. Okay, title chasers Lamasol are in action against Limassol today. Um, 
AE Limassol against Apollon Limassol uh, in action today. Are they? Are, are you wanting Vich to keep the hunt tr on the trophy, or would you do? What would you do to make any chance of the match? What would you make of their chance of the match? I, I, I'm not too bothered with her. I, I hate when they ask about other things. I'm concentrating on my team. How do you intend to seize your initiative against the opponents who, like Pathoff, prefer to dominate possession? I'm expect I'm expect I'm expecting a fascinating contest here, without a doubt. Okay, guys, here we go. A E K Lanarcos. Let's see, we we've we've done okay against Lanarcos in, in the past, but yeah, this is the one where we need to now uh, come on here. Here's a Carlos on the right hand side. Say Carlos whips it in, he gets nodded away. Tonye picks it up. Tonye in that centre roll now. Wouldn't have been there without that change. Pissing to Say Carlos. Great ball out. Great little Freddy ball out from punching. Absolutely fantastic. It should be Velarenos with a corner. And it is. Velarenos whips it in. Gets not. Oh, Go straight through defence. Oh, and that is unlucky. That is unlucky, guys. So guys, we're currently top at the minute on goal difference. This is a uh, this is pretty exciting. We could potentially go three points clear here of our opponents today. Here's Abraham. Abraham into Friday. We've got to keep an eye on Friday, actually. I need to have a look at the tactics in a minute. Hopefully, this don't go in. And it does go in. It's Jose Fernandez. Jose Fernandez, guys. Oh, it's 1 0 now because they now go three points clear of us at the top of the table. Let's have a quick look at the opposition tactics. I, 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 you know what? I would happily take a draw here. I would happily take a draw. Where's Friday? Let's put some uh, pressure intensity on him as well. Yeah, I'd happily come away with a draw here, away against the Narcos today. Um, because. Yeah, okay, it would, be, it would be nice to get a win, but a little encourage shout going out. We keep a tunnel. Tunnel. They're playing out the back really well here. Punching should be able to get more goal side of that, and he, he tried. He did try, to be fair. Can we get a tackle in? Get across. Get across there. It's away. Away! Great save there from Rudko. Arthur Rudko. Straight at him, to be fair, but. McCree slips it in and it's straight out for a goal kick to Pafos. We've got to keep an eye on the AE Lemassol as well because Lemassol are only one point behind us and they're actually getting beat 1 0 at the minute against Apollon, so which is good, which is good. Can we nick that ball? Can Oris Kusik nick that ball? He tries to whip it in. Here's a Carlos. It's a bit of a bit of an off ball. Edburn Murphy would be like a 35 yard of there. Unlucky. Edburn Murphy. I tell you what, guys, look at these stats. It is a 50 50 game at the minute. Just look at the stats here. It really is. It really is a very good game, this. Kusik picks it up on the left. Does that lovely invert a winger invert a winger style that we've asked him to do. Coming inside, on his right foot, getting the shots off. Perfect. Doing what we say. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go positive. First couple of minutes. See what we can do. First last couple of minutes. Punching in. Oh, and it's just over there from Camillo size. Okay, guys, so we do go in this, we do go into half time 1 0 down, but then last 10 minutes there, a bit of tactical, a bit of encouragement, a little bit of tactical training in the last three minutes there, and uh, we did start to come on top. The XG certainly looks like we did start to come on top as well. We also put a bit of a tighter intensity on Friday, so that kept him uh, on the player Friday, not the day Friday. Um, so that kept him, weren't that bad, so I, but I do think we can improve it without a doubt. As you can see, guys, is uh, Kevin Berry goal is not playing the best. Hepburn Murphy is not playing the best. Bellerina here whips it in. It gets nodded away, and it's a one on one. It's a one on one. Oh, he gets he gets past him. Maycris, Maycris is in. That is a great goal. Ags Maycris, um, two nil and Arcos. That that came straight from straight from the corner. Straight from the corner. Ah, oh, unbelievable. I think we got the right tactics though. I I, I still think we have. They've obviously come out firing in the second half here. Here's Berra go to Toye. Tonye inside to Rishan Hepburn Murphy. Is he offside? No, he's not. It is a goal. It's a goal back for Hepburn Murphy. Happy days. Rishan Hepburn Murphy there. Okay, guys. This is it. Game on. Game on. We'll stay positive. Uh, let's fire, fire the guys up. Should, absolutely fantastic. Come on, let's go. Kevin Berra go. Probably going to come off here now for Dennis Rakels. And he gets whipped in. Gets nodded away. We've got enough back there. We should be getting across. Make us one on one. Great save there from Arthur Rudko. Great save again, my keeper. Dennis Raycoles comes on for Kevin Berrigo. 
and it's a throw in here deep in our half here. Velarenos to size. Velarenos picks it back up. Plays it down the line to Oris Kusik. Oris Kusik again. As soon as he gets that ball, he's coming straight in that centre. Here's Tonye. Tonye, can he find that threaded ball? He doesn't, but he finds Zay Carlos on the right. Zay Carlos inside to Tonye. Tonye out to Aurelio. Aurelio penalty! Get in there. Dennis Rakels to take this penalty, guys. Come on, Dennis. Dennis Rakels to make it 2 all. What can he do? Dennis Rakels! Get in there. Dennis Rakels makes it 2 all. What a game we have on our hands here, guys. A.E. Kayla Narcos, first again, second. We now go back top on goal difference. Dennis Rakels make, makes us go back on top on goal difference. What an absolute tight league this is at the top. Tony will plays it out. Dennis Rakels tries to get it. And it's, it here we go. Aurelio picks it up, plays it inside to Tonye. Tonye, it, it, everything's going through Tonye at the minute. He's punching with the shot, and it's away. Does he go out wide again? No, he doesn't. He tries to go out. Oh, he does go out wide to Velarenos. Velarenos back inside to Camilo Saez. Size, what can size do? Is he going to switch it across? He doesn't. He plays it into Tonya. Tonya finds that ball to Hepburn Murphy. Hepburn Murphy couldn't find the angle. He gets it back, comes into Aurelio. Punching with a shot, punching with a goal. Get in there. Jason Punchin, his fourth goal of the season, guys. Get in there, Jason Punchin. You little beauty. That was like a. That was, it wasn't really a, t a hard shot that at all. The replay would probably, would probably show it at a similar speed, to be fair. Uh, Aurelio out to Tonya. Good little ticky tacker. And it kind of just. Kind of just feathered into that bottom left-hand corner. Get in there, guys. I love it. Absolutely love it. Get in. We'll still stay positive. We'll still stay positive without a doubt. And what's going to happen now, we're going to do a bit of a praise. And again, you'll probably see the guy's, uh, the guy's moral now starting to kick up green. Look at that. Look at that. Loads of green faces. Happy days. 77th minute. Uh, 78th minute now. Let's make some changes on condition, really. So it's probably going to be Zay Carlos on that right. And we'll bring on the Verone 4. Uh, what we're going to do, actually... Is we're probably going to put uh, Tonye. We'll probably put Tonye on that right and put four more central. Four is. Hang on, let, let me just do it the correct way. Let's just see. Yeah, that's that's fine. So we, we will we will put uh, never only four as central box to box uh, as supporting with uh, uh, Jason Punchin. So Tonya is on that right hand side now. Here's Aurelio. Aurelio whips it in. It gets nodded away. Punchin, guys, we are on top now. We are on top. Here's Aurelio. Aurelio back to Punchin. Punching with a shot. Punching there with a 25 yarder. Nearly at the top right bag as well. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable this. Arajore. I'm excited. I'm excited. I've also got butterflies as well. Here's Oris Kusik. Kusik into Dennis Rakels. Punching to Kusik. Kusik with a shot. Kusik with a goal. Get in there. I did have the goal constantly on there. Then I do apologise. But it, I knew it was coming. I just knew it was coming. Get in there. Great football there, guys. Dennis Rakels tries to get the shot of it. Gets blocked off. Punching finds him. Kusik in that channel there. Kusik. Get in there. Bottom right bag. Get in there. 4-2, guys. Away against Lenarkos. Come on. We now go three points clear. Oh, my. Oh, Tonye. Tonye clears it from danger. They hit the crossbar, guys. And it gets nodded away. Aurelio away. Tonye picks it up, guys. It's a counter on here. It's a counter and it's four against three. Here's Tonya. Tonya finds it inside. Hepburn Murphy. Wow, what a game we have here, guys. At Lenarcos. Hepburn Murphy again with the box and Tonno picks it up. Wowzers. It's end to end, this guy's. 27 shots, guys. Nine on target. Not, it's not a good ratio, that. Don't get me wrong. But 28 shots now. Away against Lenarcos. Away against second place Lenarcos. This is absolutely crazy. Crazy. It's madness, this. Tonya, Tonya into Rakels. Can he make it five? This is madness. Absolute madness. I'm I'm, I'm quite shocked, actually. I'm quite shocked that it's happening. Bellerino whips it in. He get, again, it goes straight through the defence. He's offside. No, he's not. Abram's not offside. Is he going to score, Abram? He does. God, one minute to go, guys. One minute to go. Okay. I'm not going to do too much, but what I'm going to do, get loads of time wasting there now. Play for free kicks. Go very short on the passes. Reduce the tempo. Um, hold the shape and regroup. Just still stay positive, but just do all them changes. The changes that basically means we're shutting up shop. Away. 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 They nearly scored in the last minute there. What a game, guys. What a game. Um, 31 shots on target. Wowzers. 
unbelievable game, unbelievable game. 31 shots on target, that is what you call an absolute first against second undinger of a game to finish this episode. Right guys, the question is this. Who is a player that we have signed from Juventus on loan until the end of the season? All you need to do is put his name in the comments below and you will be in the chance to win the Tiger Woods Funko Pop. Now guys, as if you didn't see it, you probably have, but if you didn't see it, this is the Tiger Woods Funko Pop. All you need to do is let me know the name of the player who we have got on loan from Juventus. Now, put the put the comments below and there will be a draw on Tuesday's stream on Twitch. It'll be a live draw. So guys, good luck with that. Again, thank you very much for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button. If you do like the video, hit that like button. And what that does now, it puts us top three points clear with five games to go. Guys, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'll see you on Tuesday's episode on Twitch. Take care.